Hey everyone, it's me, Megs, and I am back with another video. This is all about this personality unit that I am wearing today by Allie Pearl Hair, and I'm gonna get all into the specs and the goodness about this personality unit, aka wig. And this is the box that it came in, a really pretty metallic gold, and it came with some accessories. I hope yours come with the same accessories as well. So it came with an adjustable um, strap for the wig, just for some extra security. You can hook on and off, but I love that part and a lace melting band, a HD wig cap, which I love, and a really cute satin-like um, bag to keep my wig in, and a scarf too, which is cute. So I really enjoyed having those additional accessories. It also came with a pair of lashes that are a bit dramatic for me, but I do appreciate the kind gifted gesture, and also an edge control brush. So this texture is indeed the body wave texture, and it is 20 inches, which I love because I am a short woman okay I don't need a whole bunch of hair <laughs> so this density was absolutely perfect so be sure to check out the description box to check out all this information about this wig I did wash and condition the wig prior to styling I think it's very important to do so um this is a closure wig it is a five by five so it has tons of parting space and it's very natural looking the knots are really nice and small and from what I noticed um this uh closure was was pre-bleached for me so I really love that the work was already done for me and I can just put this bad boy on so it does have a pre-plugged hairline that I do appreciate as well because I do feel like this is great for beginners and people like me who are on the go who are working who have a lot going on and you may not have time to really prep and customize a wig but this is pretty good okay even with the pre-cut lace, it's absolutely perfect. So um, with the pre-cut lace and the closure wigs, I always kind of cut off that extra kind of corner piece um, because it kind of sticks out a little further than the construction of the wig cap that I noticed. And just to get even more of a flawless, seamless look, when the wind blows, I tend to cut off that extra little piece, okay? So I am loving this closure wig so far, and I'm really liking that it is pre-cut. I don't have to worry or fuss about making sure I cut enough lace off or worrying about if I cut too much off. So the work was already done for me, and the lace looks really good too. I'm very excited about that really nice and thin because I am of a darker complexion and sometimes we do get that flashback with the lace okay so the cap construction is really nice it does come with these um combs within the wig and the elastic band on the bottom here is really nice because it doesn't have an, uh, an additional elastic strap for hooking so I really like how nice and snug this laid I also took the comb out of this wig just to get it even flatter and stall so I am going to use my foundation that I use on my face I always put this on my lace wigs especially when I plan to go glueless I put a bit on my wig cap and I also put some on to the lace closure because I want to go glueless. I want to make sure everything is seamless and blending in how I want it to. So I just take my time and really make sure I focus on the front half of the lace wig. That's where I want to, most of the product to go and to kind of blend it with my skin tone. So when I tell you I put the elastic adjustable strap in this wig and let me tell you, it was snug. I knew. I was like, I'm not going to need glue which is even more perfect for me but y'all it wasn't going anywhere and I was so happy that I could go glueless especially during this hair journey I want to make sure that I keep my hair really nice and protected and especially with it being glueless that's even better so I'm just going to go ahead and start prepping this wig to get it styled how I wish to I am going to use a hot comb and really get this top pretty flattened out and this lace on this closure is very very transparent so you can see a bit of the wig cap through this but I'm gonna fix that later but I feel like with this wig ball cap method would be perfect but it's very secure with the elastic um, band installed inside of here how they have it it's really not moving so with this body wave texture I wanted to do some really pretty voluminous curls so I am going to layer this the easy way so I've sectioned off my hair into three sections 
um, with the part in the middle and a nice size section on either side of my head. And I'm just going to take small sections and kind of like part or section it off in a diagonal motion and just kind of cut down, making an effortless, easy way. So I kind of start off with a little bits of hair at a time because, you know, once you cut too much hair off, you can't go back. OK, so I'm just taking my time. You don't have to be like a professional to do this, but I did want a little more body, a little more shape to this wig. Um, like I said before, this is a 20 inch wear and go body wave texture and I love that. So within each section, I'm just going up a bit higher, kind of like a step um, above each section to get that kind of like wave. So the top is going to be kind of shorter than the bottom. So it's going to kind of be like a diagonal, you know, in a way, because this is going to allow my curls to really just have lots of body and lots of shape. So I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. I'm just going to layer the front because I find that to be the easiest and the back is just going to be curled. You can do the same um, method with the back half um, of the hair. And I do have videos on my channel of how I do that. But once you get kind of like the shape, you can kind of go in and look and see where you need to cut more off and just really take your time because like I said, you don't want to cut too much off too soon and then you can't because <laughs> I almost messed up here. You can't fix it later because the only way to fix it might be to cut off more hair. So that's what I'm doing on the other side because I realized like, oh, I chopped too much off the top on that side, but it worked out towards the end. So I'm going to use my favorite hairspray, which is the Sebastian Shaper Plus. And I'm going to use this large barrel um, curling iron from Paul Mitchell, which is my favorite um, iron to use right now for really nice kind of like blown out curl look, where it just kind of looks like lived in curls. I love that look. So it just adds a really nice wave. So I'm starting at the bottom in the back half section first and just working in sections and working my way up. So with this, I'm curling my hair away from my face on this section here. So as you can see, I have a nice ringlet curl and I'm just going to continue to do that until I'm done with the back. So on the other side, because I split the back in half, so the back is two sections. So within these sections, I curl the hair going away from my face. So within each section also, I know it's a lot of talking, girl. Um, <laughs> I spray each section with the Sebastian Shaper Plus first and then proceed to curl. But what I did notice with this body wave texture, it's very, very, very silky. And I will say for me, it did take a few times of curling some pieces to make sure the curls held. Um, I do feel like with this texture, you might need a texturizing hairspray to really help the curls kind of last a little bit longer. Um, because I did notice while I was styling this wig, I did have to go back and recurl some pieces. So that's probably the only thing that I did notice with this unit that was just kind of like, oh, okay, that's something that I have to be mindful of when it comes to this hair is that it does have the ability to fall sometimes. So I highly would suggest if you are interested in this wig and this texture, maybe flexi rods will work really well to keep the curls lasting a bit longer and pin curling it as you go and letting the curls cool off and then releasing the curls um, from the pin curls. But overall, it's turning out very beautiful. I am just going to take this hot comb again and flatten out the top. And I really like the, um, the construction of this wig. The wig isn't bulky at all at the top. It looks very, very natural, especially after um, I apply the layers, which I absolutely love. So it doesn't give cone head at the top. It's laying really nice and flat, which I like. So I'm just... Um, finishing the curls at the top half of my layer like so and this iron is on I believe like 360 degrees because I did not want to burn the hair um, so with that I'm also going to conceal the lace parting here and this lace is very very thin which is a big plus for me okay so I would suggest doing the ball cap method but because I take my wigs off every night this will be fine for me and I'm going to close that parting up with some um, eyeshadow just to straighten out the part and just kind of like calm and just style the front because I do like how 
the pre-plugged closure looks on me without having to place glue. Now imagine if you do place glue on this, it would be an even more effortless look, but I absolutely love that I don't need glue with this. It's wear and go with it pre-plugged and pre-cut lace. This hair is absolutely gorgeous at 20 inches. I am 4'11 and the density is absolutely perfect for me. I wore this out on a day and it was a hit. The look was definitely looking, but I will say the curls do have the ability to fall after a while. So you may have to do additional measures just to keep those curls lasting a bit longer, okay? But it does provide a really beautiful lived in curl look that I love. So if you do have any additional questions, feel free to ask me and all the information about this unit will be down in my description um, about Ali Pearl hair. And stick around to watch more of my videos using Ali Pearl hair extensions here on my YouTube channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.